Hey guys, today we are creating Kato Thorn from Fortnite in season four. In this awesome season, we got this character and we will create him. For obvious reasons, this is a two-part video and we start with Kato himself. I also ask you to write some background stories. So this video will all be about how he became the man slash vampire he is today. Before we jump in into the story, let me tell you I'm so excited about this craft. We are not only using some new materials at the end, we will also prepare him for the part two of this mini-series. As you pro probably already have guessed, I'm going to make an animation with him, the Morphosis State. So watch out for the next video, hit the bell, subscribe, don't miss the animation. As reference, I used the 3D model in Fortnite for Kato Thornton. Thorn, <laughs> Thornton, from the Gaming Egg Reel. Kato Thorn loved collectibles. When he was younger, he used to steal a lot of things from all over the place. As he grew, he began to metamorph into a vampire after he inj injected himself with a serum. Time went on and Kato Thorn began to build hotels and apartments around the Fortnite map. And at night, he would kill everyone inside and steal their treasures. His obsession for treasures grew and he built a time machine to collect more and more artifacts. When he built a mansion for himself and stored his relics and items hidden inside walls to this very day waiting to be taken. <laughs> the gaming egg real amazing story, thanks so much. I'm making some progress with the creation. The legs are already movable. I am using the scalpel to create the joints. And now with the second main color, the flesh, we can also create the hands, the tiny thumbs and fingers and already bend them so that Kado can later on hold a weapon. This is the belt. The final knot of the belt will be glued onto the fabric after oven hardening. We have the tattoo on the chest, which I try to get as accurate as possible. And once we are done, we are putting the jewelry on top. With a scalpel we can remove some of the extra paint. And while I'm preparing the hat, this is place number three by Max239. Kate with Thorn always loved stealing precious things from people. He became an outcast and made it his mission to get the highest of relics in the universe. Creating a time travel machine, he went back in time to do the doomsday event and stole Midas' drum gun when he was fighting the storm. While Kit was with Meowkel, Meowskulls, he took his shotgun and launcher. And so on, he built a high profile and was targeted by the best of hunters. His hotels were built to show off his power. Little did he know, Fish Thick, Nolan Chance and the others were watching. Thanks so much! You definitely have to check out the shorts which I published about Midas this week. I'll link it somewhere right here. And while we are attaching the mask, the idea is to put these moving lines and elements um, onto the mask digitally. You may judge uh, if this is a poor decision or the better one. You will see in the end. And while we are finishing the last train of hair and preparing ju the jewelry, let's listen to place number two of your background stories.
I'm, I'm so excited about this one. It's by far the longest. You're crazy. Once there was a man called James who traveled the world in hopes of finding something new to become famous and known until he found a new ore that was glowing green. So he touched it and was back on his ship. So he looked in his pocket to find the ore once again. He went back to that cave to find the ore had regenerated. So he picked it up and found himself in bed. He got up and saw a young child, alike himself, and instantly found that it was himself. He has used the green ore to go back in time, so he spent months on building a machine to travel in time. Soon enough, he had built a time machine. So he tried it out, but to find, he went back and forward so many times, he had now got millions of that green ore to use as fuel for the time machine. But as he traveled, he got sick, and soon enough, he died. Then he saw a demon in his death dream, who resurrected him if he would take the curse of being his loyal follower. So James did, but now he was different. He was a vampire and no one ever wanted to see him. So he locked himself up only to go forward in time to collect relics from different realities, such as Reality Zero, where he renamed himself as Skadu Thorn, meaning pain, as he wanted all he could find to take back on the people who hated on him. What a crazy long story. Thanks so much, Skadura6701. We are painting the marks onto the fabric. It's not real leather. Well, I'm not really sure, but it looks amazing. I found this in an old box of fabric, and this is the last thing to create the weapon. I have to hurry up. This is place number one, the most liked background story by the Titan 170. Cade Thorn is a time-traveling collector, obsessed with finding meaning for his eternal life. His mere presence on the island was enough to trigger a supernatural eclipse. And with the sun covered, Cadu's true nature as a vampire was revealed. He now lures in his victims with his fancy new estates before doing what vampires do best. That's it! Cadu Thorn! There will be a part two, Metamorphosis, write down in the comments your background stories about the Metamorphosis state of Cadre Thornton. What does he do? What can he do? How powerful is he? What's his favorite drink, soft drink, when he is Metamorphosis? <laughs> An amazing week and take good care. Bye. Woohoo! I'm Cadre!